This is Papa PD with the Teaching and Learning with Technology team. Today we're focusing on Google Classroom and its ability to reuse content from other classes. Reusing previously created content in Google Classroom can be an efficient way to access and post assignments that have been used before. With this feature, you can reuse posts from the same class or from another class, which also includes archive classes. You can make copies of attachments from old posts or add new attachments. You can modify the post before publishing it to help make it more appropriate for your current class. For the purpose of this video, I want to reuse content that my colleague, Mr. Blaze, has shared with me in my own grade 4 class. So first of all, I open up my grade 4 class, click on Classwork, and then Create a New Assignment. And I would like to click Reuse Post. The next step is to select the class that I want to reuse the content from. I can see Archive Classes, but in this case I want to select Mr. Blaze Grade 4. And then I scroll down to the content I want to reuse and simply click on it. Now, the next step is to create new copies of all attachments so that I create my own copies for this assignment. You click Reuse. Then Google Classroom prepares the content to be added to your class. You can then edit the text instructions and also add attachments. You then edit the other details of the post as you would do when creating an assignment. Finally, you can either assign the work straight away, set a scheduled date, or save as a draft. It's important to remember that when you assign a post, you cannot withdraw that post unless you delete it. So it's a good idea to schedule it or save it as a draft until you are ready to release or post it. If you selected Save as Draft, the content will be grayed out in the topic area. When you're ready for students to see it, click on the three dots, click Edit, and then Assign it so that students can now see the assignment. For more support with Google Classroom, please visit the G Suite for Education page in the Insight, as well as Google's own support page. You can access these pages quickly by using the shortened URLs displayed here.